but not seeing eye to eye right now. That's why I'm on this side of the screen and he's on that side of the screen. Anyway, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Frozen Solutions. Coming up to holiday time, they've got some great cups, spoons, napkins, printed material. Uh, get in there, have a look at frozensolutions.com. They're always ahead of the game when it comes to uh, themed cups. Uh, so check them out. There's a link right down here below, frozensolutions.com. Mitch and all the crew there, we very much appreciate their episode sponsorship. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about how to clean your batch freezer at the end of the run. Uh, and this applies to not only your batch freezer, but your custard machine and your, uh, really any frozen design dessert machine, shake machine, so forth. Most of us are quite uh, familiar with running the uh, uh, water mix through the end, uh, and you may have a little bit of buildup, butterfat buildup, depending on how much, uh, what the percentage of butterfat that you have, and the amount of mix that you put through here during a particular run, you could have quite a heavy buildup of butterfat. So you'll rinse this machine out, run a lot of water through till it's pretty well clear. You'll take out your dasher, and again, um, you'll have, typically where you get butterfat buildup is on the blades, on the back of the door, and on the side walls, and particularly the back of the, um, of the back of the barrel or back of the freezing cylinder. Now, water in and of itself isn't going to get that butterfat off. You're going to need to come up with some sort of way to actually clean the machine. And a lot of people rinse the machine at the end of the day, they don't clean the machine. If you're running just water ice products, not a huge need to be able to scrub it down with a, uh, a Dawn or some sort of cleaning agent. Uh, but if you're putting uh, a dairy product in here, you really do need to do that, particularly if you want to help combat that cross-contamination between flavors. Uh, and this is a little invention that I came up with that I'm gonna tell you right now that Dawn Look, I'm gonna say it, they stole from me. I've been doing this at home, I've been doing this at uh, our businesses. This is a squeeze bottle with about uh, an eighth Dawn or some sort of detergent, the rest water, and it's basically what I call a pre-soak. Lo and behold, Dawn comes out with their pre-soak. Pretty sure I've got some uh, little bit of money coming in from that. So what you wanna do uh, before you actually uh, put product back in this machine, take this squeeze bottle, which has got this Dawn solution on it. You can make a spray, you can make a squirt, like this. And what I do is just spray the inside of that barrel and then using a barrel brush of some description, just basically brush down the side walls. It doesn't need to be hot water and you'll find that the detergent in and of itself will actually, pull this O-ring out, um, the detergent will actually break down the butter fat. Um, that's really important to do. You can't just rely on the rinse water to actually physically clean the machine. You've got to get in there with a brush uh, and brush down the side walls of the barrel. This unit has a built-in faucet so I can get in there and basically just uh, wash that out, rinse it out, back off on the pace a little bit. We can do the front door as well. That front door will actually come off and go into our uh, three compartment sink. And again, most of the um, units will have some sort of a catchment tray, drip tray, that if you do get a little bit of that water through the back of the barrel, it'll drop into a drip tray and kind of come out somewhere or it has a, a tray that comes out. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty well it. It's something that I would say a lot of people overlook. Got to brush that down at the end of the run. You're going to stop butterfat contaminant. You're going to stop uh, other contaminants like nut oils and other property that's basically potentially um, contaminating the next batch. Even if the next batch is the next day, uh, give it a good brush, uh, brush down. Use your barrel brush. Dissemble, wash, rinse, sanitize. Then you're good to put it back the next day. And uh, look, if you buy the Dawn uh, pre-soak product. I'm setting up a GoFundMe page that you can send me, I don't know, whatever you think, 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever you think I deserve uh, as a result of coming up with the invention that Dawn basically stole from me. That's all we have for this episode. Thank you very much again to our sponsor, Frozen Solutions. Check them out on the link down below. Keep on scooping, and we'll see you in the next video.